Hey guys, so I am back and I am going to be filming a book haul. Um, first, I guess, non-book item, what I got for Valentine's Day, one of my gifts, Breaking Dawn Part 1 on Blu-ray. Yay! So I just thought I'd show that because it kind of goes, to me it kind of goes with the books. So, anyway, um, these first three books my husband got me for Valentine's Day. This is Ruthless by Sarah Shepard. This is the tenth book in the Pretty Little Liar series. Um, I haven't even started reading the series yet, but I like to have them all within reach so that way when I do get into reading them, they're just right there and I can just keep going with them. So there's this one. This is a new one that came out also by Sarah Shepard called Pretty Little Secrets. Um, I don't think this is book 11. It says a Pretty Little Liars collection, so I don't know if it's like a collection of short stories or what. I haven't even read into it that much, so I couldn't honestly tell you. But yeah, these are both hardback and really happy I have these. Um... Also by Sarah Shepard, this is The Lion Game, which is the first book in the um, Lion Game series, I guess. Um, didn't own any of these, so really glad to have this one as well. And I've been enjoying these shows, so I know I'm going to enjoy the reads as well. Um, one book that I have been wanting for so long, and I was so excited when my half Price books had it, and it is The Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. He also wrote World War Z, which is another zombie book which is actually going to become a movie sometime at the end of this year or next year. I'm not too sure, but um, in the future. So, yeah. Then I got The Iron Witch from Karen Mahoney. I really don't remember what this is all about other than the fact that it's involves a witch. I don't know. But, I mean, a lot of people rave about it on YouTube, so I trust everyone's judgment. This next book is by Carrie Jones and Stephen, I can't pronounce his last name, W-E-D-E-L. Um, it's called After Obsession. This cover is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see that kind of sheen to it and the picture. I got that. The synopsis sounded really good at the time. I can't remember what the synopsis is now, but oh well. This one is by Isabel Wolf. It's called A Vintage Affair, and it says, Do fairy tale dresses bring fairy tale endings? So that really, that little catchphrase really caught my attention. And the fact that it, have, it has anything to do with clothing or fashion really attracted me to it, as well as the cover. It's simply adorable. This next book, again, I literally squealed in Half Price Books and jumped up and down when I saw this at Half Price Books. It is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And first of all, again, the cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I cannot wait to get into this read as well. And it just it looks amazing. And the inside flap is really cool too. It's probably kind of like going to freak you out a little bit. But it's really awesome. The next thing I got, because my husband and I have been getting into the show called Grimm, and it's based on Grimm's fairy tales. Um, so this book was there, Half Price Books, and I had to get it. It's Grimm's Fairy Tales by J.L.C. and W.C. Grimm. So, yeah. It's actually a thin book, too. And the story, the, the stories, the stories are really short. Um, but I think it's going to be a really fun read to get into. The next book, which I have been hearing a lot about, re especially recently, it is by Maggie, S I can't pronounce her name, St Steve Vader, Steve Vader. It is The Scorpio Races. Again, found this at Half Price Books, and I had just watched a video on a couple of people talking about this in their haul and reviewing it, and then I found it at my Half Price Books that next day, so that was really exciting. So I can't wait to get into this. This is the same author that did the Wolves of Mercy Falls series, so... Um, I guess, I don't know if this is part of a series. I haven't really delved into it that much. I don't remember anyone reviewing it saying that it was going to be a series or a standalone book, so I really don't know. But regardless, um, you know, can't wait to get into that one. This next book, I have seen it over and over and over again, and it always catches my attention because, one, the title is, the, the title is kind of hilarious to me. And the picture, and it's just, it's hot pink, you know, I'm like a little fly to the lights, it caught my attention. Um, and then what really caught my attention was the, the price was very appealing at uh, Barnes & Noble. They had it marked down to like six ninety eight or so. And it is um, Jackie Collins' Poor Little Bitch Girl. So, I mean, see, it's, it's pretty eye-catching. And then the spine of it, that hot pink, it's just, you just have to grab it each time you see it. And it's like the picture, she's like... Has these bright pink lips and she's eating caviar, so I just, you know, I just had to go for it. This next book, um, 
is Get Positively Beautiful. This is the ultimate guide to looking and feeling gorgeous. This is Carmen D, um, a makeup artist in New York City. Um, she also is a makeup artist for TLC's What Not to Wear. This is one of her makeup books. I already own her 5-Minute Facebook, and I loved it. And I absolutely adore her. She's amazing, and she is gorgeous. Just look at her. So I wanted to get this. Again, they have this at Half Price Books for a really good price. And actually, my husband bought this for me. He's such a sweetheart. So... Yeah, so glad to have that in my collection. And the last book that, again, had me jumping up and down when I saw this at Half Price Books. Those guys that work, work there probably think I'm psycho. But I saw this on the counter, or the shelf, I should say. And it made me so happy because I just love these people to death. And this is Kris Jenner's um, An All Things Kardashian book. I love the Kardashians. I have to have everything of theirs, basically. So, of course, that's their mom or their momager. Um, so this is like her tell-all book about it, and yeah, really, really happy to have this. So I got a lot of great deals and a lot of good books recently. Um, I bought these in the past, since like January, so it's been a while they've been collecting. So not a huge book haul, but I thought it was pretty interesting and wanted to share. So thank y'all for watching, and if you have a book haul or have read any of these books, let me know. If you have a book haul, go ahead and post it as a video response, or let me know what books you've recently got, read, liked, etc., want to read, you know the works. So I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.